The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. We're going to say good morning, everybody. Say good morning, everybody. They're right there. They're looking. Hey, you guys say hi. Who do you got there, Tommy? Say good morning, everybody. You going to say good morning? Good morning, everybody. This is Tommy O'Brien. This is Tommy O'Brien. We're coming to you live from TFNN just after 9 a.m. East time, Tuesday morning. Tell them, Tommy. We're watching a little bit of Cars 3. As is the case, we got a little bit of Spider-Man going on. Did you show him your Spider-Man shirt? Oh. We're watching Cars 3, folks. If you're familiar, you're familiar. Uh, and hopefully, do you have my chart, Al? I believe you do, right? Yeah, okay, I believe you do. I'm watching the Tiger TV, Al, and I think I'm seeing the production screen in the back there. Uh, is something going on. So right now, folks, let's get into it. S&P's a little bit of volatility in the overnight session. We have a VIX right now that is flirting with a 13. We're sitting at 1287, pretty much where you spent most of the day yesterday. Markets in negative territory to kick things off. Not a lot happening. What happened to McQueen, Tommy? McQueen, Jackson Storm, and Kitty. He was racing Jackson Storm, and what happened? Did he crash? It crashed like that. Oh, my goodness, Tommy. I know. So we've been battling a little bit of a cold here and there, as was the case in Boston. But it uh, keeps going around. So we got Tommy at home today. Where'd all your friends go, McQueen? That's what Jackson Storm says to him. Where'd all your friends go? I figured we're matching. We both got on blue today. We both got on blue today. You see that? You got your blue Spider-Man. I got my blue shirt. What's that? Do you know that? What's one, which one's that? You like my microphone? <laughs> Say good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I forgot in my sleep in my bedroom. In your bedroom? What do you think of the stock market, Tommy? What do you think? We got red on the board. We're going up. We're going down. Okay. So not a lot on the economic front happening today. Uh, as we talked about yesterday, we get some inflation data on Thursday. We're a week and a half out from non-farm payroll numbers, and we're two weeks out tomorrow from a Fed meeting. We talked to Grandpa. What are yields doing? Are yields going up or going down? Hey, are yields going up or going down? The yields are going up. They're going up. No, they're going down. What did Grandpa tell you? Are yields going up or they're going down? He loves this. They're going up. What? I thought we said they're going down. Are they going up or are they going they're down? They're going up. What? I think they're going down. I think. They're going up. Are you sure? They're going up. Classic debate this morning, folks. Two different divergent opinions, both of them represented on TFNN. Well, uh, Daddy, we'll see. Like sure. Are you sure? We're doing the show. We're trying to get out of the pacifier stage. It's a, uh, as, as anybody with kids know, uh, habits die hard. And, yeah, especially with two-year-old toddlers. I'll call for the fail. Oh, no, that's my mouse. Do you want your mouse? Well, I want to call for the fail. You want to do it? Here, let's jump around the stocks, Tommy. Let's take a look. Let's show them what's happening. No. We got to show them. That what's that? That is mine. Oh, I don't know. I got your mouse over here, mister. No, no hitting. We got to be nice for everybody. They're watching. Look, you're right there. They can see your Spider-Man. Hey, you got to let me grab the mouse or we're not going to be able to do the show. My mouse. This is, that's your, your mouse, huh? He's got his own mouse and his own computer, folks. It's the only way we make it through these programs. Oh, is this going to be a tough program? It's okay, bud. Don't get frustrated. That one goes to your computer. Did you show him Ghost Spider? Do we have Ghost Spider? And McQueen? Oh, sure. Oh, no, no, no. We cannot be throwing tantrums on air. No, no, no. Hey, everybody's watching. We got to be on our best behavior, okay? Do you want your computer? He's got his McQueen. We'll see how we do. We'll see if we make it through the hour. It's always an adventure. Tommy's turning into a pro, uh, but he's still a two-year-old. So we never know if we're going to make it through the hour. We have a great time as long as things are going good. Did you do that? 
did you do that on the chart? I'll tell you a funny story uh, as we jump around here. One time I have him playing on my desktop. Are you doing that? Are you doing that? Oh, hold on. We're pressing too many buttons. So I close every single thing down on my computer, right? And I say to myself, okay, I don't have my... No, 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 we can't do that. I can get you your computer if you want. Or do you want to do paint on your on your tablet? I want to... Uh... Yeah, endless possibilities. You see the smiles? When he gets to make choices. Because I'm on the computer. On your computer, I know. You want your computer? On my computer. Look, I got your computer right here. Look, I'm ready for it. I know. So I close down everything on my computer thinking okay I close down my trading let's start it up we'll start it up for you buddy there we go it's starting give it a second thinking okay I've closed down my trading platform I've closed down Google right I've closed down Gmail I've closed down everything we'll be good he can't do too much uh, no that's not the way it works with little children folks within the span hold on we got to enter our passcode for you there you go. We got you in. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, Spidey. Who is that? It's Spidey. It's Spidey. We got two Spideys going. Long story short, what happens? If you uh, if you right-click on your desktop, let me turn down some of these audios. I'm not sure many people are aware. We got to put this down so they can see you like that. Okay? It's playing an ad. Not a fan of YouTube ads like any of us. They can't see your beautiful face. There you go. He knows how to skip them, though. And uh, what you could do, all right, and I'll do it right here on my camera. Let's see. Uh, I downloaded Always Keep on this device. And so what I did was is I basically went, he downloaded every single file from what had been my OneDrive to my desktop. So within the span of about five seconds, he literally hit the right click button on the desktop, uh, downloaded 13,000 different files. I want spin. I want spin for something. You want spin? Where is he? He's out there. He's out there? We didn't bring him in here? Uh, we'll get him at the next break, okay? We got Ghost Spider right now. This one's going to be an adventure, folks. We'll see if we make it through. We'll see. It's always a battle, but it's always enjoyable. Uh, and I appreciate you joining us this morning. Yeah, so Tommy's on a Spider-Man kick, but there's two. There's Spider-Man and then there's Spidey. Interesting that it's all about Disney, Disney's Junior, uh, but then you watch it on YouTube. You're watching Disney on YouTube. How does that one blend, right? But somehow it works. All right, let's jump around. We got crude catching a little bit of volatility as well. We're back above 75, 75. We're trading at 75, 77. You were just down to almost 74.50 as of about 8.30 a.m. this morning. Gold. Uh, we got to get him at the break. We'll get him at the break, okay? Spin is Spidey's friend and uh, accomplice, and he helps him. And Ghost, Ghost Spider. How about Ghost Spider? Huh. So gold, we get a rollover in contract, okay? So yesterday at 2015, you're not up 30 bucks. You're out of, up about $10, but the trend is continuing, man. If you haven't tried out the gold report, folks, great time to do it. We're pushing all-time highs in that gold contract right now, up another $10 this morning. Let's jump over to yields. You got the 10-year right now. With a 109 handle, we get a roll in the 10-year as well. So careful on some of those prices as we got rolls going on today. We got to take a quick break, okay? Can you tell everybody we'll be right back? Tell them. We'll be right back. You got to tell them we'll be right back? We'll be right back. We'll be right back, everybody. Stay tuned. We're coming back with our man Kevin Hicks. Don't go away. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 
45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. We get the S&P futures negative by about eight points right now. NASDAQ 100 off by 38 points. You see a little bit of volatility in, in the overnight session. Do you want to show everybody spin? Show him spin. There's spin. Oh, you want to show him his mask, how he does his mask? Show him with the legs. Oh, oh, where'd he go? He's got his mask down, ready. Right? He's ready to fight crime. He's going to do it. Are they going to save everybody? There he is. And what about the Hulk? So it is interesting to see from a business perspective, because obviously from being a dad, it's amazing, uh, how you grow these brands, right? So he was all about Thomas the Train. Every kid goes through phases, but now it's a Spider-Man phase, which is on Disney, uh, but he's watching it on YouTube, which is Google. So everything kind of jumps in. All right, to talk about some of the market action, let's talk to our man, Kevin Hanks. Every trading day, folks, 12 noon Eastern time, right here on Tiger TV from the Schwab Network, Fast Market, with your host, Kevin Hanks and Tom White. Kevin Hanks, we got a market slightly in the red this morning, and we got yields, tenure at about 4.42%. Uh, good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Tommy. You know, an interesting market we have coming up here. I think we, the market is really looking towards uh, the data coming out later in the week, personal income and outlays and GDP. That being said, the housing data, Tommy, is so important. The weak housing number we got yesterday, Case Schiller and FHFA, we got out this morning. Why does the market care about that? Tommy, housing is... 32.7% of core CPI, it's 17% of core PCE. So housing is such a big chunk of the inflation discussion that the markets have to pay attention. And frankly, yesterday's numbers were extremely weak with... You had the case filler month over month up 0.7, that's in line. You had the year-over-year, 3.9%. Year, that's higher than last month. The FHFA was up 06 That's higher than expected, flat. And the year-over-year year was 6.1%. That's higher. So in, so we, we, we've gotten a pretty consistent string of weak housing here, Tommy. But today's number's not as weak, frankly. I appreciate the 
Wrap up of those numbers. We're sitting here with Tommy. As you can hear him, Kevin, he's excited. He's got a little bit of a cough, so he's at home. So we're doing the program with him. Uh, we've been talking about yields. Hey, Tommy. Now, we have a disagreement here, Kevin, and we've brought my dad into this conversation. Tommy, Tommy, tell our man Kevin Hanks, do you think yields are going up or going down? Up. What? I think they're going down. So you heard him, Kevin. He thinks they might be going up. My uh, grandpa and I trying to tell him that yields might be going down here. You talked about housing. Um, we talked to people in the market, of course, looking for a house. When you talk about yields, Kevin, we've talked about before that yields may be coming down in the next couple of years, and you've laid out a couple of reasons why. It can either be because the economy is cooling off or something maybe breaks. When you talk to people, how do you think about the yields when you talk about the housing kevin do you think that it's it's a a good risk reward because everything's a bet everything you know has the ability for a loss but do you think five percent mortgages are coming like in the next couple of years or something like that and and the housing market gets you know more complicated than what yields will do to the price but do you think that's where this market's heading a lot of people probably do um and boy that would be quite a difference maker to some of those housing prices if we got five percent yeah, I, Tommy, I think that when you look at interest rates, you have to look at the inflation picture, right? That's what made inflation go higher, the Fed fighting inflation. Now, what causes inflation? Watch the money supply, right? The money supply is dropping, and therefore inflation is dropping with it. So it's important to watch that M1, M2, all those different levels of the money supply because – Remember, when we got last month's original GDP data, within that GDP data, there was lower personal income, lower disposable income, and lower levels of savings. So that money supply that is dropping is, is one of the big factors causing inflation to come down. Now, the expectations for core PCE and headline uh, – PCE on, on Thursday is it go to 3.4 to 3.1 percent in headline, 3.7 to 3.5 in core PCE. And I'm telling you, Tommy, the market will like those numbers if it hits as expected, which is that that's the consensus. If they come down like that, the market will like that uh, incremental progress in fighting inflation, Tommy. Yeah, I can't wait to see how some of these numbers come in, how the next, you know, three, six, nine months, the year or two goes, um, because, boy, nobody thought we were going to see 8% mortgages at the speed that we saw them. And it's very possible that we get back down to somewhere around the range of 5% over the next two or three years if things go um, like they're supposed to, and we get to find out. With that in mind, you've referenced it, man. The, the main event is maybe Thursday with inflation, just like that. We get non-farm payables next Friday. We have a Fed meeting, I think, two weeks from tomorrow. But not a lot of individual equities, maybe with specific, whether it's earnings or whatnot. But do you guys have any equities you're talking about on twelve at 12 o'clock today on Fast Market, Kevin? Yeah, we're, uh, like told us, we're going to do a presentation on Dollar Tree, the discount nice. uh, retailer, massive discount retailer coming out with earnings. And then we'll look at that. That's tomorrow before the open that their earnings come out. CrowdStrike, we'll, we'll cover today, another cybersecurity name. And then Workday, the online the cloud hr director in in workday so we'll look at three good names today coming out with earnings after the bell and dollar tree tomorrow morning so three earnings plays today tommy pretty cool man as the earnings season still marches on some of the main events were passed but three great stocks uh kevin i appreciate the time as always man i appreciate uh you laying out the case for some of those difficult questions that i'm throwing at you man we look forward to the program at 12 o'clock and we'll talk to you tomorrow have a great day tommy you too. Folks, check it out every trading day. You heard it, man. I say we're kind of past uh, earnings season, but three great stocks they're talking about, man. Check out CrowdStrike, right? From 100 to above 210. Uh, Dollar Tree, quite a pullback for some of these budget companies uh, up to 177 last year. Their last earnings, not so kind. You break away from that 140 area, you gap to 130, and that was a straight shot to almost $100 in Dollar Tree, sitting at about 116.35. Kevin laid out the case, man. Some of those numbers, right? You're talking about the money supply. Uh, you're talking about consumer savings, consumer spending. We get the inflation data on Thursday. We'll see where that goes from there. But yeah, yields in focus. And boy, it is, a, you know, and I know it's kind of like a long, drawn out question talking about the yields. But I'm just trying to understand how different people 
people whose opinion I respect, Daddy. like Kevin Hanks. Do you hear him? I don't know, Tommy. What do you think? Yields, they going up? They going down? I don't know. They might be going down, Tommy. I think they might be going down. If the data. If the data. Right? <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, this guy. I know. Okay. We're going to be coming back for the open, all right? You're going to tell them. Uh, but yeah, things go according, right? It should should get us back down. And if we ever get back down to a 5% mortgage, man, it's going to feel like the bargain of a lifetime. Now, the next step of that, which is why I didn't ask the question of, are mortgages going back to 5% and is it going to put a fire underneath this real estate market? Yes, of course. It is going to matter and it's going to help the demand side of things. But the thing that you have to keep in mind, okay, and I'm not saying the market will crash, is what's going to happen to the supply side when that happens. And that's something not a lot of people are talking about. Uh, supply is non-existent right now because no one can sell their house because they don't want to because they have a locked-in mortgage. You get back down where they can sell their house. It'll be interesting to see how that may impact things. All right, folks, we're coming back for the open. We'll be right back. We'll be right back, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We've moved on to a little snack time, and what do we have in Tommy? Pringles. Oh, man, he is a Pringle man. And I think he's seen Grandpa eat a few Pringles in his day because he mows that food down, man. He mows it down in one big bite. It's like a weed whacker going in there. Yeah, just mows it down. Uh, you got to love the life, man. Two years old, hanging out. Like we say, we got good screen time and bad screen time, man. We do have a little screen time, but we keep it in check. 
um, half hour, an hour at a time. And he's got Spidey. You make sure you know what they're watching, especially on YouTube, man. Kids can go down YouTube rabbit holes just like the rest of us, so be careful. And there's just so much tremendous educational content out there. And a program like Number Blocks is one that comes to mind on Netflix. We watch that a tremendous amount. It teaches Tommy how to count powers of tens, powers of hundreds, everything. So good programming and bad programming. Keep that in mind. All right, let's talk about the markets here. We got the S and P's now. You know, this is a daily. Doesn't look like a lot of strength, man. We're ready, we're ready for Christmas. It's already ready for Christmas. Are you ready for Christmas? Are you excited for Christmas? Who's gonna come? Is Santa Claus gonna come? See him eat those sprinkles? I know. I don't know who taught him how to eat like that. Who? Uh, it's gonna be Halloween again. It's gonna be Halloween again next year, huh? He was a big fan of Halloween. This was the first year that he really embraced it, loved it, could know what was going on, was excited to go house to house. What were you for Halloween? You a dinosaur? Oh, ghosts. No. Oh, he loved the ghosts at Target. He did. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot of strength there. It could be performing a rollover. You know, it makes more sense that the market gets one little maybe thrust higher. But we'll see where we come into Thursday's number. Maybe we drift higher to above 4,600. I only say that because the 1 to 1.618 expansion of this pullback that started October 17th, you go down to 4,100 and change. About 4,600 is where the 1 to 1.618 expansion is. And that also kind of lines up to the recent cycle high in terms of going back to the highs that we're talking about from this year of 46.34. So we got a NASDAQ popping a little bit. s and P's off by 6. But I think with what yields are doing right now, that this market is not going to collapse anytime soon. We do not have the economic data that everyone is worrying about could take place next year that could point to a recession, right? Those are the two camps, kind of. We got two camps. One is that we're cutting because we've tamed inflation and the market can move forward. The other is we're cutting because the market's in more trouble than you realize. The money supply is decreasing. Consumers are under pressure. And the economy may face some heat in the middle of next year when everything finally catches up. Well, the Fed's going to have some bullets that they can fire when that happens. That's the first thing to keep in mind, okay? For the longest time, the chamber was empty. I don't like gun analogies most of the time. I shouldn't really do them, but that's the truth. They didn't have anything they could do for the longest time because rates were so low. Not the case anymore, man. If things do go away, they will come in, but that's not happening right now. That's not the worry right now, and that is not the economy right now. I'm going a little bit big picture. Are those good Pringles, Tommy? Oh, are those I those? Love I love Pringles. Who else loves, who else loves Pringles? Grandpa, do you hear that? <laughs> Gotta love it, folks. Um, so with that in mind, what's stopping this thing from hitting the recent highs that we got up to with 4,600 and change, right? Think about where we are with market rate expectations. I'm only talking about 50 points or so, okay? I'm only talking about 100 points. It makes sense that we ring that bell, in my opinion. The run that we've had, the valuations that have been added to with AI, all in the time that we've faced higher yields, okay? Important to remember where we are, and I think we get that last little run up to about 4,600. With the VIX trading with the 12 handle, though, might be time to look at buying a little bit of volatility, especially Daddy, as we. I want my drink. You want your drink, Tommy? You got it. You want your sh baby shark cup? This guy's baby shark cup. There, your baby shark cup. So we'll see where we go. We get the S&Ps off by 7 right now, but the 1 to 1.618 gets us above 4,600. The recent high from July is above 4,600. Seems like it would make sense this market can get above 4,600 potentially as we come into the holidays. Really going to be interesting how we roll around the beginning of the year. Now, I know these are not technical thoughts, but, you know, I like to combine the fundamentals and the technicals. We've had quite a rally this year, okay? If you're talking about anybody that wants to sell, Boy, it would be nice if they get a chance to wait until next year, right? Because you're talking about this year alone. You're up a staggering amount, man. We came into the year at about 3,800. We're pushing 4,600 right now. You're talking about more than a 20% acceleration in the S&Ps. So even if people are worried that we could get a little bit of a pullback next year, people, some people are in the camp, right, that things start to break. That's why the Fed cuts. That would not be good for the stock market if the Fed is cutting because things are broken. The market would much prefer that the Fed is just cutting because things are going so well that the economy is sustaining while they've inflamed, um, while they've tamed inflation. 
but you might see some selling at the beginning of the year, man, because we are sitting at a lofty level right now as we come into the potential for the the cuts are already priced in for right now, right? That's what you have to remember. And I'm jumping around, but the cuts are already priced in right now. We talked about yesterday, the odds that they go up by, excuse me, the odds that they cut by May, not even at May, just by May, so it can be ahead of the May meeting, is 60% chances. That's up from 30% a month ago. That's priced into the market now. Okay, that's part of the reason we got this acceleration in stocks. So if that rosiness is priced in and we get more economic weakness than we anticipate, you could see a pullback even as we get the Fed cutting to lay out that picture. But all things considered, I think this market probably gets up to the recent highs we had in July, which is above 4,600, somewhere in the range of 4,607 to 4,634. Maybe it hits 4,600 on the bell. That was also the number that it hit on the first acceleration. Now, this is interesting, right? Do you recall that when the Fed first began hiking, it was March of 2022, the market actually caught a bit, right? You pull back from 4,800 to 4,200, the Fed hikes and the market gets a relief rally up to 4600 before the carnage really got out of hand down to 3600 market traded from 4600 to 3600 over the span of what was that march 28th yeah so april may and and first two and a half months you lost a thousand points so it's not always the action and that could be the case on the other side Daddy, right I want more pringles. oh he wants a little more pringles folks so keep your eye on the yields. Keep your eye on the market. I think we got one more run up to this area. And with that, though, we got the S&Ps off by about eight points right now. You want another Pringle, buddy? Do you want a grape? No, no uh, grapes just yet. We'll have grapes later. He does love fruit. And we have some grapes in here. He wasn't going for the grapes, of course, just yet. But we eat a lot of fruit. We eat a lot of grapes. He's big on green grapes right now. He likes strawberries. He likes bananas. Um, but who doesn't love a good and cheesy Pringle, right? Okay, let's see what else we got pulled up in terms of what we're talking about this morning. Uh, did you get your Cyber Monday shopping going on yesterday? Let's jump around to some of the retailers. Target shares. We were at Target again last night. It's like our Toys R Us, like I talk about. But they had, uh, they still had deals. They had buy two toys, get one free. Not bad with the holiday season, man, as long as you're not overspending. That's the kicker. Really tough to imagine if you are or you aren't. Were well, you going to buy that anyway? You know, you, you buy two toys for 10 bucks, you get the third one for free. You still spent $20 for three toys so uh target they back off a bit down about half a percent this morning you jump over to walmart walmart shares up about three tenths amazon shares down about six tenths uh the other part of that conversation i was telling my dad yesterday i went to walmart over the weekend just to see some of their black friday sales going on as well they're much cheaper than target oh boy that user experience nothing like the target experience we'll finish that conversation up tfnn tuned, folks, has right just launched their new trading room the tiger's den hosted at discord tfnn has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours and now they are expanding their reach with the tiger's den available to all tigers and tigresses for just one dollar for the year there's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders in the tiger's den you can look over the shoulders of tom o'brien and the other tfnn hosts while they analyze charts during their live tiger tv programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas news analysis and discuss the market action all trading day even at night and on the weekends the tiger's den at discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well so it's always at your reach to sign up today and become a part of this educational community community of traders just visit the front page of tfnn.com you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market you're going to need a crystal ball after all it's impossible to predict the future right like any endeavor in life before you decide it's impossible get some advice from the experts you might find that it's not so impossible after all for daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps off by eight points. NASDAQ 100 barely in the red by 22 right now. You know, the other bell that could get rung out there is the NASDAQ 100 hitting an all-time high. I mean, some of these equities have been soaring, right, in terms of the Magnificent Seven. Wouldn't be surprising if you get the NASDAQ 100 to ring that bell, just like you get the S&P 500 potentially to ring the bell that we got just from earlier this year at 4,600 and change before you get a little bit of heat potentially at those levels. Apple shares today basically flat. You jump over to Microsoft shares. Oh, look at that one, right? Wouldn't be surprising, man. Look at Microsoft. Up by half a percent for Microsoft shares. You jump over to Amazon. Look at Amazon. Back to the 618 of its entire pullback from 190 down to 81 bucks. You're flirting with the 618. And you're also coming into an area that you had from August of last year. That high, 146.57. Look at that. We're within five pennies of that high right now. As the S&Ps are off by 10 right now, you jump over to some of the other magnificent seven, MetaShares. They start off in negative territory, down by about 7 tenths percent right now. You jump over to NVIDIA, the AI poster boy. NVIDIA shares off about 4 tenths percent right now. All right, let's check out how we're doing on currencies. You jump over to the dollar index. Yeah, this is, you know, go check out the gold report if you haven't yet, folks. Gold gets a little bit of a pullback, but we just touched almost 2,050. You're looking at all-time highs of 2089 from August of 2020, and we have been consolidating for more than three years, pushing these price levels. Yeah, we'll see where we go from there. But, you know, if you want to do the conversion in terms of yields, dollar, commodities, right? That's a monthly on the 10-year. You put it back to a daily. We have quite a rise. You're coming into potentially the 382 area on that 10-year. But, yeah, we got some lofty levels, man, in terms of if you really are getting a pullback. Nothing's to say we can't get back to a 618. I mean, you're only talking about where we were in July. That's not crazy, right? That's not crazy at all in terms of that pullback in yields. I think my dad was saying we might be at, you know, he said something in terms of the pullback that we might get in yields just over the next two weeks could be substantial. A lot of that priced in. But it's still going to matter. It's going to matter to yields. It's going to matter to the dollar index, which is going to matter to gold. And gold has some room, man. And some of those gold miners, boy, he's laid out the case on this program as well. You know, for some of these equities, right, when you are producing gold and you think you're going to get 1800 bucks an ounce and then you start getting 2000 bucks an ounce and then you get 2100 well, boy, when you start getting 2,100, 22, 23, 24, 2,500, sometimes that acceleration transforms a company from barely break even to just a printing press of cash because their costs are set at a certain price level. Every dollar above that straight profit, and you can get a little I'll bit of a run. A are you going to have a little of your drink? Okay. Sounds good, Tommy. Uh, 
so keep it on your radar. We've already run from 1828, but boy, you know, would not be hard for this thing to push 2500 in a heartbeat when you're only talking about a 25% acceleration in the gold contract, and the miners really could really catch some bids well over that, depending on how ling how fast and how high this uh, could go. All right, let's check out some of the banks this morning. You jump over to J.P. Morgan. Barely in the positive. You get the Dow basically flat. You could call it the strongest index. NASDAQ 100 barely in the red by two tenths percent. Dow negative. Yeah, Dow basically flat. S&P's off right now by two tenths percent as well. And you get the Russell off by about seven tenths percent right now. All right, let's jump around to some of the other equities. Micron. Micron down about three percent. They raised the earnings outlook and they beat estimates. But guess what? Not living up to expectations. Uh they raised its outlook for adjusted revenue in the first quarter of the fiscal year to 4.7 from as much as 4.6. It expects almost a billion dollars in adjusted operating expenses far exceeding analyst expectations. So there you go, right? Expenses. They got to get a hold of those expenses. Uh, Micron's up decently this year, up 55% so far, but they're trading down by about 3% so far today. We talked home prices. Kevin mentioned it. U.S. home prices hit record with the 8 Eighth straight month of gains. How is this happening with mortgage rates stuck at 8%, man? Well, supply. Folks, if you remember Econ 101, okay, and if you didn't take it, the way it works is economics are a function of supply and demand. Where those curves intersect is where price equals, okay? So price is a factor of supply and demand straight out sometimes it's a demand factor sometimes it's a supply factor right now you have very little supply so it doesn't take a lot of demand to push the price up on where those curves meet it is going to be interesting to see what happens as yields potentially drop interest rates drop and imagine people who have been stuck in their home for the better part of three or four years who have accrued a vast amount of wealth even built into their homes right depending on where you are man some people have accrued hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, depending on where you are. And they're going to be able to sell. And they're going to be able to sell, and they're going to be able to do it without taking it on the chin. And they're going to be able to sell and either downsize or upsize accordingly. And it could release a flood of uh, supply into that real estate market. So don't be so sure that the market is going to accelerate higher as those yields drop. Yes. The demand side will be helped, but we have a severe supply side problem, and supply will increase as well. So that will be one factor that is going on, at least. Uh, but how about it, man? 0.7% in September from August, eighth straight month of gains for the index. Mortgage rates above 7% have chilled the housing market. Yeah, what are we at? About 7.3 or 7.4, something like that. On a year over year basis, prices climbed almost 4% in September, compared with a 2.5% annual increase. I know. Pringles. You ate all the Pringles. Would you like some grapes? Uh, We're gonna I have get to. More you got more Pringles. We're gonna have to wash you down with all that cheese, you know. Oh, you feel that cheese? You got some cheese on there? I think you got a little cheese on there. Do you want a couple more Pringles? Okay. New listings have been ticking up recently, and mortgage rates have declined after peaking earlier this month. Uh, yeah, in the four weeks through November nineteenth, new listings increased five point two percent from a year ago. But I like thinking big picture occasionally. I combine that with some of the technicals. If anybody has any takes on how that plays out, please give me a call, 877-927-6648. Do you think that when... That's in the Indominus Rex. Oh, is that Indominus Rex? Uh, what? That's Spidey. That's Spidey. That's Spidey. Uh, where do you think that's going to play out, right? Do you think? Because, boy, it is staggering when you look at what people are paying on a monthly basis for like a five hundred thousand dollar property right now well they can go afford a six or seven hundred thousand dollar property if rates go back to four and a half to five percent so that's the real deal there but everybody being willing to sell their house is going to be a real deal as well that'll put a ceiling on how fast prices can climb when you have a supply deluge coming out that's been held up for the better part of four years. And it's not just held up for four years. Remember that people have not been able to sell their house for four years while they've seen the equity in that house rise dramatically. So that's where you may get some movement once they can actually sell them. All right, we got the S&Ps off by seven. Uh, we're just chopping right in that area right now. Market makes a low just below 45.50 on the open. We're a few points above that level. 
The VIX priced accordingly right now. Very little market movement, and we got a VIX sitting just under 13. Stay tuned, folks. We'll come back. We'll take a look at uh, some of the currencies. We'll take a look at the yen. We'll take a look at the euro as well. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We have the S&Ps off by 10 points right now. We got the Dow rolling into a positive number before we get off the air. Positive by one point. NASDAQ 100 off by about a quarter percent right now. Let's jump around to some of those FANG stocks. You got Apple shares slightly in the red by about one-tenth percent. Microsoft catching a bit. Never ends with Microsoft, man. Look at that. Up $2.80. Microsoft. That's an all-time high, right? Pretty sure. Yeah. That's... I don't want my drink. You don't want your drink? I'll hold it for you, buddy. That's an all-time high for Microsoft as we speak. Up, up another $2.58 right now. We jump over to NVIDIA. They're down by 1%. They just made an all-time high last week. Uh, boy, it just keeps going on. We jump over to Amazon shares on the heels of Black Friday. Amazon gives up 1.4%. They've been on quite an acceleration as well. A little bit of divergence going on with the drop there for Amazon, giving back some of the gains it's got in the past week. And one of their competitors, not really, but maybe they're coming for him. Shine or Sheen, how do you pronounce it? I should know, and I will know pretty soon as they're coming for the public markets, man. So they're looking for an IPO they filed that could take place next year. And they're looking for a valuation higher than, of course, their last funding round, which was in May at $66 billion. 
Yeah, and that would put that market value well above H&M's $27 billion, but below Zara's parent of $127 billion. Now, this is the online retailer that primarily ships everything from China, right? So you're talking about very affordable prices, but you're talking about shipping, taking as long as two to three weeks sometimes, et cetera. Completely different, different business model than Amazon. I want more pearls. Okay, you can have some more, but it's the end of the program, buddy. We're going to have to say bye to everybody. Hi, everybody. Are we going to say bye? Are we going to say we'll see you next time? We'll see you next time. Look at they're out there. Away. Don't go away, folks. Who's Don't up go next? Away, folks. Basil? Is Basil up next? Yeah, stay tuned for Basil. Don't go away. Don't go away. Say see you next time. Don't see you next away. time. Don't go away, folks. And Grandpa's Don't up later, away. too. Tell him Grandpa's at 3. Grandpa's at 3. Grandpa's at 3. Grandpa's at 3 o'clock, folks. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in. Starting your trading day. Uh, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and we'll be back. Can I have a I want my Pringles? You want more Pringles. Thanks so much, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks. That was great, buddy. Hey, you are.